Hello friends, welcome back to School Management System in Laravel. In this video, I will explain how to implement in our project full calendar because we need to show all the information inside full calendar. Full calendar. Suppose class timetable, my examination inside, exam scheduling. We need to show in a full calendar, like a mainly in a student side and parent side and teacher side. So in this video, I will implement full calendar in a student side. So first of all, what what I can implement inside full calendar? So we need to show inside full calendar class timetable. So suppose teacher is going to his calendar. Suppose I can create a new menu in a like a student side, my calendar. He click on the my calendar, so he can see it like class timetable, and also we can he can see it like a exam scheduling. But in this video, I will cover class timetable. Next video, I will cover like a exam scheduling. Okay. So first of all, you need to download full calendar. So just you need to go full calendar fullcalendar.io inside you can see it like a here like this we can show inside our site suppose here we can show like time and also we can type like here like a user like a class timetables okay so just you need to download first full calendar full calendar so click on the get started after you need to go like in initialization with script text so here you can see it like a download so just to click on the full calendar download button here like this link you can click in so it's downloading. I have already downloaded, so I am not downloading. I can show you. So here you can see it like 6.1.5. Okay. So inside you can go and just need to go like uh, any examples and open anyone. So it's good for you, good for me. So you can see it like here is a full calendar, like a month, week, day, list. And here you, you can change it. You see. So let's log in one student account and we can implement this full calendar in our side so let's open this code in my code sites so just wait i will make some zoom out and i open this code in this browser it means here just drag and drops so the full calendar code here is open just go to like any example so which file he can using so we can understand Okay, dist inside slash index dot global dot js. Now anything else using? Not using. Just copy these files. So just go to browsers here, like uh, back dist. Let's copy both file because it's a good for me, good for you. So suppose we can use any file, so we can use it. After you can go your projects like a schools dot com. Okay, inside you need to go public. I think so. Inside you can go dist and here you can paste, otherwise you can create a new folder name full calendar. Full calendar full cal. Because the folder name is more it's look like better. Okay. Full cal. So full calendar. Otherwise, let's make a full name. So just copy this spelling and put again like a uh, here. One minute. I'm changing. Okay. Now change done. Okay, now it's good because we have add a library in our sites. So let's go to now schools.com. Inside need to go resources. Inside you need to go layouts. Inside you need to go adders. Okay, now we need to log in as a student account. So I log out this account and I log in as a student account. So just go to students and I copy the student one because I think his password like one, two, three, four, five, six. And I put here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you can see it here. Like a, I login is a student account. Now we need to create a, here is a new menu, my calendars. So just go back again and go to student sites bottom and uh, need to create a new menu, my calendars. So this is the teachers and this is the students okay so licensing is good just copy and paste here student my calendar my calendar i think spelling is good so let me check because i need to confirm the spelling i think i can copy here my calendar okay so here you can see it i have created new routes my calendar i also paste here so is the active class also works and here you can make like a my calendar let's go back again and refresh the page so let's see the menu is created 
ओके मैन इज क्रिएटेड सक्सेसफुली जस्ट आई क्लिक क्लिक द माई कैलेंडर सो इज अ राउट नॉट फाउंड सो लेट्स क्रिएट अ न्यू राउट जस्ट गो टू राउट्स इन सड इन टू गो वेब एंड यू नीड टू गो मिडल वेयर स्टूडेंट ओके हियर इज गुड्स एंड नाउ जस्ट गो टू हियर एंड कॉपी दिस राउट्स एंड पुट हियर एंड वी नीड टू क्रिएट अ न्यू कंट्रोलर कैलेंडर कंट्रोलर बिकॉज वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू मिक्स अप एनी अदर कंट्रोलर एंड हियर वी कैन चेंज माई कैलेंडर सो प्लीज ओपन युअर अ टर्मिनल एंड क्रिएट अ न्यू कंट्रोलर आई जस्ट डिक्लेयर हियर कैलेंडर कंट्रोलर सो वी डोंट जनरेट एनी एरर्स सो आई गो टू माई फोल्डर्स मीन्स माई प्रोजेक्ट फोल्डर्स एंड आई ओपन माई टर्मिनल And here I can write one command: PHP artisan make controller. And I copy this controller name, so I can do it quickly. And after I will press the enter. So just wait few seconds, and controller successfully created after. And this controller you can see it here: app HTTP inside controller. So controller successfully created. You can see it here information. Okay. So let's go to calendar controller. Inside we need to create a new function, my calendar function, my calendar. So let's open other controller and we can copy the file name. Suppose I can go to examination, I just copy, okay, and I put here, and here I can change to student. my calendars and here i will change also exam list to my calendar and this one we don't need just remove now because we need to create a just one file right now go to resources inside you need to go student and need to create a new files blade.php okay Just go back again and refresh the page, so you can see it here is a blank file. I think is a some file not saved, so there is no issue. Let's save all the files. Okay, so no issue. Okay, okay. Here is a the get method not supported for this route. Okay, I think we have used a post method. Let's go back again. Okay, yes, you can see it here is a we have used post method. This result. Just change to post to get and just go back again and refresh the page, so we see here blank page. So just go to any other controller like you can go my account copy and uh, go to my calendar inside you can paste and after we need to remove lots of part because we don't need here part so just we can remove like this part here and also i will remove all the commented code here so look like better show because i need to explain perfect way my calendar and here we can change the name to my calendar just copy and paste here let's go back again refresh the page so you can see it like is a blank page showing so we need to here put like a my calendar same like here i show you like this okay so what we need to do just we need to call our files so first of all we need to extends Like uh, any place we have did, so just go to admin sites, and I think we have did in examination, examination scheduling. Just go bottoms, not here did. So let's go to class timetable. I think here we have did. So just copy this section, and we can put new section because we need to add here scripting files because we have already installed our project library file. Like here, go to let's close this folder because it's confusing. Just go to resources. Sorry, just go to public. Inside you can see it like a list. Inside we have make a full calendar folder name, and inside you can see it. So just open these files. Let's go to again to full calendar, and any one file you can open, and just copy the scripting files, means scripting link, and paste here. Okay, and here we can change the our path, whatever path we have put. Just go back again and copy this name, and put here.
and make it like URL so we can easily use it. Okay, now we have already means we have installed the plugins in our site. So here is a, this plugin is loading. So let's show your full calendar after I can show you how to make a dynamic. Okay, so let me show you the full calendar first. Like uh, first of all, we need to declare one ID here. Du ID whatever do you want to like name name you can use i just use like calendar okay small letter do you want to like different name so you can use different name and after i can start here scripting okay and here i will show you one variable inside i can get the data about calendar so calendars is equal to document dot get element id so get because he is not prefer otherwise he can prefer so we can do it quickly by id get element by id here you can pass like the name of the id like calendar okay so here we can get the calendar data now we need to start like a full calendar calendars it means we need to use a he is a class so where calendar i think we can do like this the calendar id okay different name and here we can click where calendar is equal to new full calendar because we are using the full calendar just so copy this words and put here full calendar dot calendar here i will pass like a calendar id because i have created here calendar id comma and i can start like a curly brackets and i close here curly brackets first of all we need to add our tools which tool we need to use inside full calendar so like a header toolbar and this is the toolbar means this is the all words fix in a full calendar side so just i can type and i can show you okay so full calendar inside we can make a left what what functionality we need to add so left side we need to do like a previous next and today PV, PRV, next and today. Okay. Next, we need to make like center. Because center means the title. Because all title we need to show inside center. So title, T I T L. Next, we need to show right side. Means uh, which which functionality we need to show here. Okay. So let's make here like a right here i can make a day grid month time grid month grid week and also i make like a time grid day because we need to add all the plugin time grid day and list month because we need to show also list month this is the fixed words okay now just let's show you first i can refresh and show you so it's good for you good for me so we can see it's working not working i refresh the page i think something error there so let's see go back again so this dot element is undefined when you say document dot elements let's copy this spelling other place and i put here and here is a calendar there here is a calendar id there so calendar dot calendars is good everything so i think no issue where is the generate issue and i can put like another variable here dot calendar renders okay because this is the plugin set provides added toolbars added toolbars I just copy because I already did before code so I just copy and I can put here let's go back again refresh the page let's see okay I think something error then whatever I hear I write this reason not work okay yes because I made a year comma this reason next today sorry about that because I made a mistakes 
okay now i already did like a calendar dot render so whatever calendar here there this is the load so you can see it here and where is the id okay this is the different issue so you can see it like here is a calendar showing here showing the week wise here showing the day wise here showing the list wise like here showing you see like movement and here you can see it like today so today you can click on so is the highlights you see so if i go here i just press today so automatic back and here showing the what's the month name and year so suppose you can show here week so week by show so here we have made like the all the calendar so calendar like look like show okay like same like here you can see it like now we do here like uh, this is the our class there means the class timetable i go to my exam timetable my timetables okay so this is the timetable whatever start like uh, monday starting home economics and english language and this is the all timetable value i need to show here so you can understand okay home economics what is the time english language what is the time we need to show here all the types because we have already made query so just copy this query and i can put here okay but we need to change some query inside i can show you what we need to do what we need to do so let's go back again and we can complete this is the initialization because still not done let's copy because otherwise we can take time to write in so take much time so just we can create like initialization date so which date we need to use like a today date okay and now bar link we need to true so you can open an editable is equal to false i can show you what is the meaning about true and what is the meaning about false once we can implement this times okay so now is good everything and uh, like let's implement our events means uh, we need to show here name so is a one types of events like you can see it here suppose here not showing otherwise i can show you so this is the one types of event 18 to 19 here is a meetings like 13s okay so let's go to this page my timetable and we can copy this query and we can put inside this query and we can load here data so let's go to first student my timetables and uh, let's open the routes we have the php inside go my timetables and we have already made here is all the query just copy this query because we don't want to waste of time for the developing again okay let's save this files and just go to calendar and paste here and we can make here dd so let's see any error generate cannot generate after i can explain what i did again because i don't want to go directly okay so first of all we need to declare some classes so just go up and declare here some classes i can use model calendar subjects also which class we have use i think class subject time table also we have use so just copy week models and this model now also we are opening user tables not open okay so let's go back again and make a like refresh the page so we can see we can get the data cannot get the data so i think something still is not available let's make a use auth because we are not declare here like use auth okay let's go back again and refresh the page so we are getting the data like home economics inside you can see it like a name you see and also you can see it like a week name means a week title everything you can see it but we don't need a here like blank data this is the data we don't need because here is a no any data add so why we need got my question so let's make a one condition suppose no data there we don't need just removing this ones and put to up so whatever data we are there inside our database this data we can get because blank data we don't need just back to refresh again and go to here so error is equal to 7 but just you can get the okay still showing i think we have remove wrong place no i have not save this file this results okay let's go back again and refresh the page so let's see now okay now is good you can see before showing 7 but now showing the fourth so is every data i can got let's go back again let's see okay now is look like it's better with showing the time i think now is good okay every because we are find out the home economic english language mathematics basic technology 
basic science and technology arabic means uh, all, all the subject later we can find out here class time tables okay so how it's work i can explain again so first of all we will get the my subjects so my subject inside inside i made a one loop like i get this my subjects but you can follow this series so you can understand what is the my subjects okay my subject inside i will get here like all the weeks so week against i will get the all the timetable value means whatever data is inside i will add means admin said whatever you add timetable uh, this is the data we can get here start time end time and room numbers but we need to also with model inside we need to add another type because full calendar understanding 0 1 because suppose your day week like a 0 means the sunday suppose 1 so monday 2 means tuesday like a first friday so it's like a fourth like this is working so let's open our database and we can add a new column so open your database and we can add a new column inside week table so we can declare okay monday means zero sorry monday means one let's open just taking few seconds so just wait sometimes taking time sometimes it's opening very quick let's go to schools.com and inside you need to go like a week database and here you need to go structures and we need to create a new column name full calendar because we need to provide like a full calendar just you can add full calendar day and you can make it 10 integers i think integers looks like better by default is equal to zero so the every place you can see it like a zeros but we can change like a monday means one tuesday means two this is the three this is the fourth fifth and sixth and the sunday is equal to zero so we need to pass this data here also no not here here we need to pass like oh yes we here we need to pass the data because weak idea against whatever data inside getting monday okay so just go back again and open the full calendar and here we can go get class singles so you showing the class id subject id and week id okay so week id against i get the data like what is the monday what is the tuesday so here is a week id so we can pass here also is possible like a week id week name like monday let's go back again week name monday and start time end time data w data w yes good so just we need to pass here because we are already get the week records so just go weeks yes perfect just you need to create a new array means a new array name full calendar io and here you can paste here you can paste because we are getting this star data so i can show you again you can see it here make a get we are getting this star means we are making the like a still like star form wix okay let's make zoom zoom let's make a some zoom so you can easily see it let's go back again and refresh the page so let's go to any anyone week so you can see it like room number not uh, showing let's i will not save the file i save the files okay let's go back again and refresh the page because we are not getting the error these reasons we can say why is not getting the error just go back again oh sorry i is changing in class timetable these reasons i don't want to change here I just close this controller because he is a confusing me. So I close in and I can go back again and uh, I just go to like a calendar controller. And here we need to put, I just copy and paste here, okay. I just go back again and refresh the page. So you can see it here, like here fourth year found. Here you can see like full calendar days, zero. Why is showing like this? Let's go back again and checks value w because not using the value value w okay sorry about that sometimes generate the issue because i will not see perfect by this reason uh, now you can see it like full kind of day also zero why 
doing like this still not understanding wick models inside like gets records and here we have passed like a value.w and here we can pass like full calendars let's go back again and refresh the page let's see now okay now it's good because i think not save file this region i think generate the issue you can see it like a monday's months two three four and five and here also showing the start time and time so let's implement and i can show you how to look showing events okay so just we have get the all the data inside the results and here i can create another variable name get class timetable because we also need to show here get my timetable because we need to also add here like exam timetable this result get my timetables and here we can pass like a results okay so this is the data we have passed inside view files so just copy and go to my timetable and i will create here is another array like a event array so where events because we need to store inside event is equal to new array and here we need to create a for each loop because we are getting the data inside for each as a value otherwise you can make like a let's make a dd so i can easily understand what i do okay so just go i close this one i close this one i close this ones I need week model, class model also close, so I can understand easily. Okay, otherwise sometimes confuse. Just make a dd dollar result and go back again. Replace the page. So let's go to so you can see it like a first array inside week there. So just go back again, and here we need to make control here so. We can get a back uncomment. Okay, inside we can make another loop value inside week and weeks and also we value inside we can pass weeks and here you can change not and for each and here you can change and for each. Okay, you can, because we have passed inside data weeks. And we have already created events array. So this array inside we need to push all the data. Let's copy other way so I can show you. Okay. So this is the code for the event pushing. So my class timetable. So we can provide here name of the home economics. So just you can change to like this. You can see like events because we have created events array. Inside I have push method use means the array inside push. And I will add like an event is the same type there like titles, day of week, start date, end date, title ID, lots of color, URL, lots of there. But I can show you normal way, okay? So just you can change this ones, and you can pass here value dot name. Let's back again and refresh and show you. I will not make this data dynamic, but I can show you so you can easily understand. Okay, so let's go back again. Okay, I open another file and another, another place and I un uncomment these lines. So let's back again and refresh the page. So like look like a better because we have not passed this event array inside full calendar. So we need to create here like another another function means like events dot means semi columns and here you can pass like a events array because we whatever array we can create it here don't worry this is the name you can use different so it's possible but i use same name so it look like better this reason easily understanding okay i just go back again and i refresh the page so you can see it like a, you see i go english 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 you can see it like a, like all data there is a one way like a Tuesday because is a ID number is a fixed two. Let's make this ID number is a another week and I can remove and put here like a what is the full calendar day because we are still store already inside database. So let's refresh here. 
why not i think we need a like this oh because i have not started like a laravel echo function let's go back again refresh the page now you can see it like a 4050 because here is a time fixed this reason 4050 12 45 this is showing suppose you click on the wix so you can see it like a all this time is the same you see you see now full calendar working very well and showing proper data you can see it like a but let's make a, this is the start time end time also dynamic test the moon and put here now also you can put here so let's open our array so what is the data we can get inside so start time so here you can put like a start time and here you can put like an end time okay let's go back again so refresh the page here so you can see it working not working oh because what is the problem oh because we need to use the wait not a value this reason let's go back again refresh the page so you can see it like a 9 am started home economics 9 am mathematics start and 11 english language because there is a i have data in admin set like this data here you can see it like just you click on the wix so wix wise you can see it like you see 8 to 12 means english language so this is the you can already highlight 8 to 12 9 to 11 so home economics so he highlight like this also is a 9 to 10s like a home economics and mathematics like a monday this is the sunday like extra classes i don't know but i just show you suppose you go to next month showing the still same you see here you can see it like a date changing may 28 to june 30 you see june 4 you can see it like a week wise data showing okay suppose you can change to month to month wise data suppose you can go to day wise so it's showing the only day wise data okay today what is the day sunday sunday what is the total today your class what is the time your class english language 8 to 12 Home economics nine to eleven, because our data adding admin side, so this reason look like show like this. Suppose you can add admin side proxy data, so showing look like like this. Suppose I can start some class three am to four am like early morning, so like this showing. Suppose you can start like one pm to two pm, so like this showing. This is not issue, but this is the you whatever admin man is like this showing. Okay, here showing the today data, so today is highlights meaning of the today. and here is just showing the day so day wise what is the class there like this showing okay because we are going to may 3 let's back again refresh the page now you can see it like a, because uh, i was see some requirement about the full calendar this reason i have add now also i can showing here like a exam time table like a, my exam time table so you can see it inside full calendar like a first terms what is the like this is the all the language we need to show exam time table in here you can see it like good wix look like better i i like it because lots of people like it this ones so you can see it like a list wise you can go so you can show you okay may 1 may 2 may 3 so it's good for you suppose okay today is my class what is the class so you can read it easily 10 am to 11 am like an english language 9 to 10 home economics and you can see the two more and also here you can see like a days okay So you can click on the Monday. So it's going to back again because every place is a linking available. I hope do you want to enjoy this video because my calendar is a requirement I have done. But we can also this is the showing in like a teacher side. So teacher can see it is like a my calendar. So let's go back again and I can showing showing again calendar codes. Here what I did first I added like ID ID again I create declare like his class full calendar because inside this library you can find out and inside we have made here suppose here is a some setting there I can show you one setting like initialization view suppose you are refresh the page so what like look need to show suppose I see like time grid weeks I just go back again I refresh the page so you can see it like week wise because I have not saved this file this reason I just go back again. And refresh the files, so you can see it like a data showing the week wise. Whatever do you want to like, you can use it. I like it like week wise. So what do you want to show like month wise? So you can change to day grid month, and you can go back again and refresh the page, and you can see it like a month wise. So 
day wise do you need to just copy and paste here so you can see it day wise like this looks show i hope do you want to like this video and do you want to enjoy because let's make a week wise so it's good okay so looking like better so do you want to change this is the time table in admin side so automatic show because i already explained everything in like a before video so i don't want to go again admin i make like long video for you and you don't like it's better you can do it manually okay i hope do you want to enjoy this video and do you want to like so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel thank you for watching